In the heartland of America, the once vibrant city of Kansas City descended into chaos as an unimaginable nightmare unfolded. It started with whispers of a mysterious illness sweeping through the population. No one paid much attention until the first signs of the undead plague emerged. Day 1 The first confirmed zombie sighting was reported at a crowded shopping mall. Panic ensued as terrified shoppers fled in all directions. A woman's piercing scream echoed through the air as her husband was bitten and she was forced to abandon him. News of the incident spread like wildfire and the city descended into a state of emergency. Day 3 Local authorities tried to maintain control but the situation worsened by the hour. The virus, originally thought to be a product of a government experiment gone wrong, was spreading rapidly. Quarantine zones were established around the city, trapping survivors within the confines of the city's boundaries. Day 7 Within a week, Kansas City had become a living nightmare. Hordes of undead roamed the streets, their hollow eyes filled with insatiable hunger. Survivors formed small groups, scavenging for food, water, and ammunition. The once proud landmarks of the city, such as the Power and Light District and the Kaufman Center for the Performing Arts, now stood as eerie reminders of the past. Day 14. Desperation led to unthinkable acts. Some survivors turned on one another for a morsel of food, while others sought refuge in abandoned buildings. The scent of death hung in the air as the undead continued to multiply in numbers, seemingly invincible. Day 21. A group of survivors gathered at Arrowhead Stadium, hoping to make a final stand against the relentless horde. Armed with whatever weapons they could find, they prepared for the last battle. As night fell, the stadium's lights illuminated the ghastly scene. The desperate defenders fought valiantly, but they were slowly overwhelmed by the sheer numbers of the undead. Day 28. The city of Kansas City had fallen. Its streets were silent, save for the moans and shuffling of the undead. The survivors, once hopeful, had either perished or become one of the horde. The once thriving city had been reduced to a desolate, haunted wasteland. In the end, the story of the horrifying zombie apocalypse in Kansas City serves as a grim reminder of how quickly civilization can crumble and how the line between life and death can blur in the face of unimaginable horrors.